someday I'm going to write a novel. So when Scott asked you that question, how many of you wanted to do this? How many of you wanted to do that, but you haven't yet? Raise your hands. Raise your hands again. Yes, lots of us. So I was saying that I wanted to write a novel by the, since I was about five years old. And one of my biggest advocates, my grandfather, actually passed away in April of 2015 without ever holding my novel in his hands. So in November, I buckled down and I joined National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo. And <laughs> along with thousands of other people over 16 years, I pledged to write 50,000 words in a month, producing a rough draft of a novel by December 1st. For writers, there's a ton of things out there to help you with your writing, of course. There's lots of advice about how to actually use your October to do things like make an outline and build character sketches because you will forget your character's last name. You also want to create writing rituals and test out software, Scrivener rocks. And in those dark hours of November, you want to be part of a community, either online or in person. But know that signing up for NaNoWriMo's official community doesn't guarantee that you'll actually finish your novel. Life gets in the way for a lot of us of any writing. November doesn't stop. It keeps going. And the truth about writing is that you must actually sit your butt in a seat. You must take out your computer and be in front of that computer. You must put your hands on your keyboard. You must actively type in a word processing program, not in your Twitter. So for me, I had four major challenges in November that had absolutely nothing to do with my writing, but they could have stopped it. So here's, how it, here's what happened. The first challenge is that I am the primary cook in my family, and I love a clean house, like a terrible gendered statistic. <laughs> so in October, before the month, I cooked and froze burritos, chili, a terrible quinoa dish. I also talked to my partner early and often about how he, too, was making a commitment to NaNoWriMo. <laughs> my second challenge was that I gave a presentation at a burlesque convention about social media. And I had meant to finish my slide deck in October. This did not happen. This meant I had to be even more ruthless with my time. I turned down social engagements, got behind on my favorite television shows, and when I actually went to the conference, I gave my presentation, but I only took a handful of classes. My third challenge was, like many of you, I work full time. And my team was hosting an event in Boston mid-November where I was the MC. I got behind on my writing, and I fretted about it a lot, worried I wasn't going to finish by December 1st. I took a crazy early flight back from Boston, and I shoddily tried to sleep on an airplane. So then I had my fourth and final November challenge. I hosted Thanksgiving. Every Thanksgiving, I make a big vegetarian Indian meal, and I make homemade naan, and I cook pumpkin pie. This year, I convinced my octogenarian grandmother to come and visit me. Everything was going great. Grandma would go to bed, I'd do my writing, until Grandma got a serious but non-life-threatening illness. Suddenly, my writing was on pause. I was cooking, I was hosting Thanksgiving, and I was making grandma call her doctor and get medicine. But you know, everything turned out fine. Everyone loved Thanksgiving. So for those of you who wonder, can I write a novel in a month? Can I write 50,000 words? You can. I did. I wrote a novel. And for those non-writers out there, 
please don't ask me what my novel's about or when it's going to be published. I have absolutely no idea how to do that. Maybe I'll talk about that at another Ignite.